A double door, also marked employees only, ah, apostrophe, leads from the arcade floor to what feels like an industrial area of some sort. I turn the handle and step inside. Ghosties. She's like an engineer. In a little room tucked away between the back offices under the funplex front, I find what was very likely this Naomi, spoken only of in myth and legend. Oh my gosh, she's cute! A girl about my age, but certainly not my height, is tinkering away almost like a CRT tube monitor. Is she taller or shorter than me? What do you mean? How tall am I? I didn't... Huh, I didn't realize they had so many circuits. She doesn't notice me when I come in. Too busy solder, soldering a capacitor into place. The lingering smell of melting metals fills the air of the poorly ventilated workshop. Uh, excuse me, for lack of a better way to interrupt her. I was worried no matter what I did, she might, I don't know, burn her fingers or jump so high she hit the ceiling or something. Fortunately, the shock's not quite that intense. Woo! Ah! Oh. Uh, hello? Hey, uh, you know this room is for employees uh, only. No, this room is for employees only. See, a girl, she had like, did you see, she has like the waist thing. It's cute. You can see her back. It's cute. She's cute. And she had her hair up. It was cute, okay? She said, with no apostrophe. Are, are you lost? Do, 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 you, need do something? you need something? I'm Mary Cater. I'm the new floor attendant starting today. Oh, oh, oh. she's so cute. Hi. <laughs> I didn't realize Francine... Ah, she sounds so cute! She looks kind of like me. I guess I forgot to check my text. <laughs> uh, oh. Whoops! <laughs> She spares a glance at her phone on the nearby workbench where a huge stack of green notification messages lie in wait. <laughs> <laughs> One thought comes to mind, I'm actually seeing her. Uh, no wonder I didn't know to start now. I should have to focus on the task at hand. I always assumed retro arcade nerds were fat middle-aged guys. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. I just want to hug her, but that would be super inappropriate. <laughs> I am but a weak brother human being. One who grew up feeling mighty funny whenever I saw Velma from Sky. <laughs> said that as they got older you know what i mean okay good night rain thanks for coming by <laughs> you might get this game for yourself you should it's really funny so far <laughs> i like it nerds need love too you know when i moved from school to school with social outcasts i was drawn to fellow outcasts in turn i'm gonna cry Still, beyond my weird libido, I mostly notice how much she's smiling as she welds that little thing onto the bigger thing! <laughs> she's just so happy and at peace, and I can appreciate that joy in one's nerdy passions. Ah! Anyway, I'm Naomi Fairchild, the fun flex is Jackie! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I was expecting Gavin, though. He usually checks up on me about now. He's busy doing strange things with numbers. Ugh. Yeah, that sounds like Gavin. I take it he sent you along to help? Great. Uh, give me a hand with this monitor. It's really heavy, and I'm still paranoid about dropping it after what happened last time. Really? What happened last time? Oh, well, I... <laughs> yeah. It. Oh, right. She helps me lift a large cath cathode ray tube, slotting the heavy metal framework into place within the exposed guts of the nearby arcade cabinet. Once done, she starts hooking wires back up to other wires. There's a surprising number of green circuit boards in that largely hollow wooden shell. Uh, it's the first time I've seen inside of this thing. Lots of, lots of empty space, a couple large slabs of circuits, and that beefy monitor. It's my first time seeing the guts of a game. I'll admit, I, didn't, I don't know much of anything about how arcade games tick. I figured it was packed full of circuits and stuff. All of the figures pie full of circuits and things. Naomi keeps working, using a pocket multimeter to check various connections as she speaks. It could be packed in tighter, like a bar top or a cocktail cab. I'd say Upright's favorite form over functionality. Let I mean, me compare explain. American and Japanese cabinets. Artists are designed for standing players, so they have to be upright, even if that means an empty base. Japanese candy cabs are shorter, so you play sitting down. But I prefer American style. Ours have more room for art. She closes up the rear access panel, closing it with one of the many keys in the keyring at her side, then steps back to admire her handiwork. 
There's genuine joy in that smile, not just at a job well done, but at looking at the whole thing, like it's a fine sculpture. So beautiful. Yeah, me? <laughs> Ooh, I love classic Midway style. Look at those sharp angles at the side art decals. The bold font on the marquee, the bezel artwork. Uh, the what on the what on the what artwork? With a sigh, Naomi points out key features to me. The strip across the top where the game title, with the game title, that's the marquee. The artwork that wraps around the monitor, that's the bezel. I mean, you see it too, right? How beautiful, cohesive it all is, working in harmony to get this game its own unique feel, its own experience. She's a a, a, a a game art nerd, yeah. As for me, well, um, what? That's mean. I agree. It's beautiful in its own way. Uh, the way she stares lovingly at this. Well, honestly, this box of wood and circuits and vacuum tubes and stuff. I think I understand. It was made to be one whole thing: the art, the style, and of course the game itself. It's all part of the same experience. Everything about this game is the game. If you run it in an emulator or on a game console instead, it's made lesser. Yeah, I guess I can see that. It's beautiful in its own way. Hey, we got points with Naomi! Oh, good! Naomi lights up with joy like a pinball machine, all twinkly and shiny. Woohoo! A summer baby? There's something about you people? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a, I'm a fall birthday. Finally, so few people understand the beauty of a classic arcade game. Having someone I can talk to about this stuff is gonna be great. Especially with that jerk Gavin running the numbers. Gavin, what's wrong with Gavin? Okay, uh, I, I well, don't, don't know. Don't get me wrong, I can get along with him generally, but his whole attitude is just oh, Ugh. all he really cares about is money. He keeps the arcade running, yeah, but I just know if he had his brothers, he'd gut the whole place. Oh, she does not like him. If anybody's gonna ruin, if anybody's gonna ruin the fun play, cause it's him. Mark my words, it's inevitable. So they don't get along. But I liked Gavin, and what Gav Gavin really respects the whole idea about this being like a dream place, you know? But he's trying to make sure everybody can do that. But he also is probably a bit blunt with his numbers talk, and Naomi doesn't appreciate that. That doesn't sound right. He seemed easy enough to get along with, and what's more, Gavin gave me that whole speech about the protecting their dreams. Thank you, game! This looks like a pretty sore point here, a long-standing argument that the new gal really shouldn't get involved with. And yet, I'm involved, aren't I? I have to work with both Naomi and Gavin, so I'm not sure I should prod it, but I kinda wanna know too. Um... I'll just let her keep talking. Oh, I get so mad thinking about what evil money-minded schemes he's probably cooking up. Oh my gosh. No. no I'm not gonna get that worked up. Besides, it's not right- I got an- I got a point! By being basic! Besides, it's not right of me to dump all this workplace gossip right on the head of the newbie. You seem like a good person, and you love arcade games like I do. Right, let's get back to work, shall we? Now for the less fun part. You seem like a strong, strapping kind of gal. Mm. Well, a strong gal, at least. <laughs> You're a gal, that's enough. I'm semi-insulted, then? Okay, let's get to it. Right, a little to the left now. My left, my left, you're right, careful! Now, forward, right, correct, I mean, not turn to the right, keep it coming, keep it coming, and there! Carefully, carefully, tip it into place. Victory! I gently eased the rolling dolly forward, the giant wooden box sliding into its place alongside its neighbor. The two-wheeled dolly makes it easier, but hardly easy, especially with Naomi fretting over her baby getting scratched, or worse, falling over. But with that work done, she's all smiles again. Yeah! yeah. Okay, glad we don't that one. I swear, I've been working on that monitor for ages. Those tubes are finicky as heck, and I'm still not totally satisfied with the flyback, but... Thanks for helping me out, Ari. I think you're gonna do just great here. Happy to who What happened to us? Gav is not really your type, but she's taking this a bit far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, something must have happened that she misinterpreted or something. Oh, right, stomach growling, food required, except... I wasn't expecting to actually be working today. I forgot to pack a lunch. When you have. <laughs> oh god. Oh, if hey, if you right click, it makes the uh, the UI go away. Uh, but if you have feet, shh. Hey, so any good restaurants in walking distance? I think that bookstore next door sells donuts and stuff. But oh, um, no, not really, unfortunately. I mean, there's a cheapo Wub Sub sandwich place, but even if that stuff is super tasty, you don't want to go there. You need to eat healthy. Hey, I know. Wait right here. 
And she's off, scurrying back into her hidey hole. And she's back, scurrying back from her hidey hole. Lunch time, here you go. She presses a box lunch and <gasps> she just gave me a box lunch! Oh my gosh! We're basically married! You're right, she did scurry. She's uh, she's one of us. One of us. It's and she gave me a bento box! Ah! Yes! We're married! It's a bento box. I learned how to make them from my mom, who learned from her mom back when I lived in Japan. Rice and pickles and all sorts of good, healthy things. I've always wanted to make bento boxes. I looked into it for a long time, actually, because it was super convenient for field work. Wait, you're giving me your lunch? Sure, why not? And yet, when I first walked in as a stranger, she looked super uncomfortable with me. That escalated quickly. Uh, what do you have for lunch, then? Oh, I can just go get some nachos from the vending machine or go hit up the whole store next door. I've got a book delivery to pick up anyway. But you said eating healthy was important. See you at the lunch? Yeah. No! Oh, <laughs> I can't help but think she was just looking for an excuse to so get some junk food instead. Good point. Naomi definitely reminds me of some of the friends I made back in, in school. A little weird, a little obsessive about things, but charmingly so. We seem to think alike in a lot of ways. I think we'll get along just fine. We see... Uh, 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 okay. But am I silly to hold out hope for, I don't know, more? Uh, first day on the job, Eric. Get your head on straight. Haha, <laughs> not straight, though. Straight is boring. <laughs> and yet she did give me her lunch. Me, a total stranger. Gotta be something there, right? Or she could just be incredibly kind. Don't be assuming. So, a bento box. I've only seen these in anime. It's cute and hopefully has plenty of calories, too. Armed with a box of health food, I retired to the employee lounge to get my munch on. This room could stand to be a little brighter, I think. For such a bright and, like, happy arcade, it's not very busy. Like, it's not very, like, nice in here. The room where I had my bizarre job interview will suffice for food times. It's not much. A few folding chairs and a kitchenette, but it'll do. Utterly famished by this point, I have a seat and unpack my lone lunch. Why? 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 <laughs> this turned into Five Nights at Freddy's real fast. <laughs> incoherent screaming, coherent screaming, away oh, dead. <laughs> what kind of screaming do we want? Do we want incoherent or coherent screaming? <laughs> or should we just await death calmly? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's that flamingo. I do, I do kind of want to do coherent screaming because I think it sounds funny. <laughs> I am coherently screaming. Incoherent. Uh, incoherent. Uh, probably makes more sense. Or a wait, death. That one, they're both funny. We'll do incoherent, though. <laughs> we'll do incoherent. With my mind and body screaming wildly, my paralyzed form is unable to move from the vision of terror before me. The half-person, half-animal waves their appendages in front of me, likely closing in for the kill. He hello, waking nightmare. Hello, anyone in there? Oh my gosh, she's so cute! <laughs> what? She's really cute, what the heck? See, nothing to be afraid of? Ah, right, I see. Looks like you stabilized. I was worried I scared the life right out of you. Hey, so I'm sorry if I traumatized you. Really? Can we still Why would you do ready? that? She's got ulterior motives. I don't trust her. Why would you why would you walk up on somebody like that? But she's really cute, so I might actually forgive her. I nod my head slowly. Oh, that could just be muscle spasms spasms from being in shock. <laughs> Uh, I'm yes, Ashley. you are. And I'm Ari. I'm also Pinky the Funplex. <laughs> it's my secret yet. <laughs> She's so cute. What the Funplex? What now? This is almost too much to take in. Kevin was a bit, a bit of a lot. Naomi was off the scare che scale cheerful. I've met some really intense people so far. Did you sneak into the employee section just to get What? 
Me or no? I just want to eat. Oh, I thought you would recognize She's Pinky blushing. from all the signs around the arcade. A Pinky is the mascot of the Funplex, after all. I would all. never wear a mascot uniform ever. Oh no, that's not what I meant at all. I mean, I work here. You work here? Since when? T today? This morning, to be specific. Oh, awesome! Welcome! <laughs> Welcome! Hmm. I mean, it would have been way cooler if you were just so enamored with the cheapy flamingo creature plastered on every wall that you had to know more. <laughs> you could have stealthily maneuvered your way through all the games, sliding right on up to the employees only door. But how did you get the door code? Of course! Ooh. You would have had to collect the password on a piece of paper that fell from Gavin's pocket! You searched your heart and decided that the four digit number had to be the intel you needed. Let's Next, you did the lie and wait for the opportune moment to punch in that secret key code just to find me! It just keeps going and going. Uh. She's definitely passionate about this fictional scenario. Is that how I come across to people? <laughs> she's definitely passionate about this fictional scenario. The way she just takes an idea and runs with it, a lot of people might find that weird, but I kind of dig it. She's your new favorite? Oh my gosh! We got a point with her. It's like she read our thoughts. She shows a lot of imagination. I wonder if she's a writer or something? And how would you have snuck out, I wonder? I could have, hmm, I could have helped. But for a price. Like what? Oh man, Ashley finally realizes she's been babbling to herself for a good couple minutes. Punch, she knows me so well, oh my gosh. Ooh, oops. <laughs> Sometimes I get swept up in a good story. I mean, I gotta find some way to make this job more interesting. Is it really that dull here? No, not really. I just crave a different kind of excitement than beeps and boops, screaming children and broken machines. You aren't really painting the best picture here. Aw, oh, geez, I don't mean to be a downer. I just want to move up in the world. I've got things to accomplish, dreams to fulfill, cosplay to make. I love her. I know, right? A sexy press? I was like, oh, I like got like kiss? Mm -hmm. Cosplay? As we switch topics, she's like a completely different person. Ashley's eyes light up and she smiles. Yeah, you know, like dressing up as your favorite video game or TV character? I love it. It's so empowering to be able to make your own costume and wear it proudly. It's even better when people recognize what character you are. Empowering, really. Grand, she certainly has the power to stop my heart for a few beats. Hey! I mean, that was like in the scary sense, but also, you know, in the, maybe the other sense. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely! You want to try? Got a favorite game character? I can help you make your first cosplay if you want. In fact, I made this one. I think Ashley is pointing to her flamingo costume, but it's a little hard to tell with her hands as feathers. So Pinky is your creation, intentionally? Yep, it looks pretty good for my first mascot cosplay, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I'd probably stitch my hands together if I tried that. I'm all thumbs when it comes to stuff like that. Literally, if I get enough thread running between them. I'm pretty impressed, though. Naomi was going on about craftsmanship of games. Clearly, you're digging on the craftsmanship of costumes. I got points! I'm doing great! Uh, oh, thanks! It's nice when hard work is appreciated. I wear it around the fun place, liven up the crowds, get people pumped to play some games, and the kids seem to endure it. That makes sense. Although the arcade has been completely dead so far. No crowds to pump up or kids to be adored by. Hey, secret between you and me? Ashley motions for me to come closer. She leans in, glances around the room once, and then talks in a hushed tone. I did some repairs on Pinky overnight. I had to research the left arm, and I was giving her an old test drive to make sure it doesn't fall off. Hmm, limbs falling off seems bad. Oh, it was. Yesterday I was dancing with a little girl. Must have been like five or six years max. Anyway, we were next to Showtime stage when she tugged on my arm and... Whoosh! Off came the arm. The girl instantly started bawling. Well, at least you are consistently scaring people and it's not just me. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> nope. I don't want that to happen again. I felt so bad. But enough about me. What about you? So your cause replacement? I guess so. I'm the new floor attendant. I tend to the floor. The floor is a thing I am attending to when I'm not going into cardiac arrest. At least you're funnier than Carl, that's for sure. I can't wait to go home and tell Juniper I do have a sense of humor. She'll be so proud. I assume you've already met Francine, but have you had a chance to meet Gavin and Naomi yet? 
Yeah, I met them already. Although it seems like they aren't too keen on each other. Oh crap! We brought up the we brought up the drama. Oh my gosh! Right? Ashley rose her eyes and let out a sign. I wish they'd hurry up and make out already. Oh my gosh! It's not no. I think no. I can't see that happening in a million years. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Seriously? So are they going out? Ah, nope. <laughs> but they always pick like an old married couple. It's a classic anime cliche. The ones who fight always end up together. Mark my words, Ari. That's, that's not, I don't think, they don't seem like they like each other at all. Consider them marked. Beep, beep. Uh, beep, 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 beep. My, my iris is talking to me. What's that sound? Drat, I set an alarm for when my lunch break was over. Time to go back to the grind, so I didn't even get a chance to eat. That's no what? good. No. Ari needs her calories. You eat up. I'll go wash the floor. In fact, how about I take over the ticket desk for the next shift? Wow. You can do my job and wander the floor a bit. Fair enough, thanks. I get to eat! Ashley winks before her face disappears into the dark recesses of that inhuman mask. As I'm wolfing down rice in the shape of little heart of a little heart, wow, it occurs to me I didn't actually ponder my first impressions of Ashley yet. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> I'm all for the pinky train. Oh, she's pretty amazing. I like her enthusiasm about her art. The way Ashley's whole expression changed when she talks about things she's passionate about just warms my heart. Her beaming energy just lights up the whole room. I wonder if one day I'll be that excited about something. Anyway, with lunch in my belly and break time complete, the second half of my workday begins. Choo-choo! <laughs> Get on board the pinky train. If it wasn't the pinky train, maybe. Rolling into the afternoon, the crowd starts to fill out. School's done, and late rising pros are heading out of the, to their arcades of choice. With Ashley covering the desk, my job is to wander the floor looking for problems, or potential problems, or just making sure everything is A-OK. -okay. But for starters, it's a good moment to collect my thoughts. I think I'm off to a decent start with my coworkers. Good first impressions, at any rate. Except with Gavin. Cooperation is going to be a must. I've had awful coworkers before, and they can really drag down your day. Hang on, no time for daydreaming. I think I spot, let's see, three possible issues to look into. I should have time to get to all of them, but which do I tackle first? Hmm. Am I right, customer near Mr. Moopy's magic maze? My mutant floor attendant senses detect danger from the left hand, hand side of the arcade. I quickly rush all of 30 feet to the scene of the crime already in progress. Wow, you look angry. Angry rando. Come on. Hurry the crap out and finish your game. You, do you work here? I saw you behind that desk earlier. Note to self, ask Gavin for a name tag or something. Yes, I'm Ari, floor attendant. Well, <laughs> stop attending to the carpets and attend to me. He's a bro. Uh, so, uh, I want this man to wrap up his darn game so I can play. Ashley's face is obscure beneath her costume's mask, but I can feel her wine system and curses up a blue streak. Sir, there are children present. Please keep the swearing to a minimum. You can get a fat piece of play out next game, and I'll sing Mary Had a Little Lamb all you want. Figuring out I hear the fat piece of whatever side to the story before rushing to a judgment, I tap the player on the shoulder. <gasps> oh my gosh, she looks really sweet. What the heck? I'm gonna kick this guy out so hard. You're a bad person. He doesn't even notice. So I tap again. Twice. Hmm? Sir, there are other players waiting to give Mr. Moopy's magic maze a spin. Curiously, the player looks up at the game's marquee, thank you, Naomi, which simply reads Moopy. You know the game's full name? Sure, played it a lot when I was a kid. It's actually called Mr. Moopy's Magic Maze, right? Wizards and pellets and monsters and stuff? He does, he does look like one of the daddies in Dream Daddy. He's a ginger. Yeah, the annoying competitive guy, but he seems a lot more chill. Yeah. A bit terse as he's laser focused on the game, and I can see why. He is currently sitting on seven, seven, seven hundred and fourteen thousand nine hundred points. Holy crap, that's a heck of a high score. Or as this other guy probably would have put it, holy F at sign exclamation point hashtag question mark at sign exclamation point. That's a hashtag exclamation point of a high score. Excuse me, right, right, sir. Can you please wrap up your game? Hmm, nope. I'm keeping good pace here. Plenty of livestock, on par for getting close to the gold record before the kill screen. Somehow, the thick arcade jargon sounds classier when I'm draped. He's got a British accent! Okay, like I'm watching some sort of documentary program on the BBC. Yeah, but this is a public arcade. Other folks want to play the game too. He finishes clearing the current board while pondering the current predicament. 
<laughs> you think we can try to punch him, miss, and fall to our deaths? Uh, why, why, why would we do that? Okay. At first, I think he's stepping away to end this game, but he's letting his stock of extra 50 dudes slowly deplete as he pulls out his wallet. Without pause, he pulls out $3,000 in cash and holds it out. Will this cover it? For a moment, I flash back to that movie where some dude pays another dude to sleep with his wife and they roll around bed covered in money and ah, <laughs> what? What are we doing? Cover what? Yeah, ah, what are we doing? What? The, are you gonna freaking, he's just gonna hop out $3,000 to buy an arcade game? The game itself. I have never seen this much raw cash in one place at any given time. It's not even in 20s. The dude's rolling in Benjamins. I, um, one moment, please. On it. Fortunately, Iris already has my messenger app open for me with Gavin's contact info preloaded. With trembling fingers, I key in, customer wants to buy a movie for 3K, what do? In less than a minute, I have my response. Considering we paid $200 for it plus parts, yes, absolutely yes. Sell that relic immediately. Well, okay then. Although, how's Naomi going to react to this? Offloading one of her darlings just because Gavin wants to make a 15-fold profit? It also feels kind of weird to be taking advantage of this guy's lack of a grasp on the real cost of an old arcade machine. I knew all this workplace drama was going to catch up to me at some point, but this random breathing down my neck has got to make a decision. No! No, I don't know what... How many, whoa, he's rich! New bay! New bay! <laughs> I don't know! I don't know what to do! Um... buy another one technically with the three thousand dollars we could buy another one keep it what the, the top option oh my you'll make more money if you play hard to get what do you mean make him barter for it he's offering me three thousand dollars for a two hundred dollar game I think it makes sense to sell it because we can just buy another one and then hopefully Naomi doesn't get too mad and if the place is struggling financially we need the money but if we lose the game it might be a popular game that people really like yeah okay fine we're gonna sell it we're gonna sell it I'd say three large is more than fair. It's all yours. I quickly pocket the money, feeling vaguely like a thief. A thief will be eating well tonight. Well, it's not for me. It's for the other. It's for the, the place. You want me to get out Dolly and wheel this old thing out of here for you? But he shakes his head. Absolutely not. I'm leaving the game right where it is. Oh! But you bought it? So I can play it whenever I want. For as long as I want. Provided nobody else is already playing, of course. It wouldn't be proper to interrupt someone. But I wouldn't want to take it away from the Funplex. Naomi would cry. We can't have that, right? I guess not. So he knows Naomi. Okay, if Naomi would be that upset about it. Which leaves the rando hopping mad. To be fair, we have been kind of ignoring that he exists. What the heck, man? What kind of arcade is this anyway? If it is, I'm going to go to Deco's Palace. And we just lost the customer stomping his way out the door. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Well, we got 3K off of it. On the plus side, Naomi won't cry. On the cry, won't cry. On the negative side, I just drove a rando out into the cold. What a disagreeable fellow! What a disagreeable fellow. fellow! As for the player, well, he goes right back to playing, eating pellets, zapping ghost monsters, clearing mazes. With the crisis behind us, I can actually focus on who this crazy rich guy actually is. Uh, digging that dive <laughs> bomb. He doesn't seem to care more about than just this game. He likes Naomi. Dad bought you. He did no. Okay, fine. Oh my gosh, fine. Taking the dad bomb. The cuddly, cozy teddy bear physique. The Benedict Cumberbatch accent. And he's soaked in compassion and empathy for others. Yes, please. <laughs> He could have just waltzed out of here at that game. He didn't. He cares more about more than money and more than his own high scores. He's more mature than me, but that's more than okay in my book. I've always been attracted to that age bracket. Uh-huh. 
I'm sure he can teach me a thing or two <laughs> about Mubi. I mean, right, yeah. So, you know Naomi? He's happy to talk even while playing. Of course. I'm a Funplex regular. My He's cute. Person. I like him. I'd hazard you're our new floor attendant. I was here when Francine seated you behind I didn't see you! Alright, he's one thirsty <laughs> cheese! <laughs> His name is Percy! He's got red hair too! That's, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It is a well-known fact that any wealthy man must be in want of a fake British accent. Indeed, all of them. All the wealthy men are all British. Lemon Sea is lucky! She gets all the wealthy British guys. That's me, Ari Cater, Arcade Wrangler. Well then, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I look forward to- He's adorable! I like him! So, you've seriously just been playing Moopy all day, huh? What can I say? It's my calling. I actually owned a Moopy cabinet once. Had it in my flat. But playing it by myself, all alone in the dark, it's not the same. I need the atmosphere. He sounds Australian. Are we, like, feeling like yeah, that he sounds more Australian than British, you know? I haven't met that many actual British people. I mean, I went to London. Oh, my gosh, Lemon Z. Percival from Arthur Mythology? What? You're... What? That's... You medievalist, you... The beeps and boops? No, those you eventually learn to filter out. I mean, everything. The games, the lights, the kids, the feeling of being in an arcade. I score my best when I'm in real world conditions. <laughs> okay. It's all about the emotions, the laughter and the tears, the excitement of competition. He was really keeping it cool when that guy was yelling at him. I need that swirling chaos of human emotions around me to play at oh, my okay. finest. Okay, he's adorable. Mm -hmm. uh, Naomi gets that. She gets Moopy in top condition for the day I eventually land my high score. What's the current world record then? About three and a half million. This guy has been standing here since I was working the morning shift, hours and hours, and he's still only about 720k into his game. Can't imagine him being in anything but top health condition to try this. Guy's gotta have legs that have carbon fiber and a bladder of tungsten. Oh my gosh, he's true. Mm. I'll just let a few extra lives drain out whenever I need to go pee. Okay. Also, he may be psychic. I feel like I should let him get back to his game, but burning questions. They burn like fire. <laughs> it's Aussie. On my Aussie mode, activate. Yeah, buddy. I'm going to try. You must have a solid job. Good income. That's fishing. Uh, you, you're... Score is more important than your bank balance. So, I take your high score is more important to you than your bank balance. The way you just decided to buy a movie, I mean. <gasps> what? Right. I, got a, I got a plus one for being basic again. Of course, a score is more important than anything. Except eating and paying rent. Yeah, I'm like, whoa. What more important than anything? You guy, my dude, my dude, my guy. Only if you can afford it, only if you have the privilege to be able to afford a life like that. Otherwise, you, people don't want to die and play video games. You want to live and have a bed. It's not basic, it's honest. You know, I like that. They should have called it honesty. Maybe not honest. Probably basic was a good, was a good choice. But it, it, it's a bit more like it's a nice neutral route when you're like not wanting to be extreme. A few hours a day, tra a few hours of day trading after I go home keeps the bank balance in balance. Anybody could do it if they had the head for numbers. He's a freaking like stock market broker. He points to the current score at the top of Moopy's screen. I wanna. Can I be a stock broker? If that's all it takes, I can work from home and like throw some numbers on a screen and make a buttload of money. He's a sociopath. Get out. If I'm going to try to define myself by a number, this is the one I choose. Only if you can afford to do so! I don't feel people are defined by their work. I know the arcade is home to those who've made their passion into the work. But it's the passion that matters more. Not if you need to eat! I'd my passion is the same as anyone. I look forward to learning yours as well. Okay. When I'm not deep in the middle of a game, I mean. He's getting more and more distracted by the game. I should leave him be. I have to do a thing about a... about a thing. 
Mm -hmm. Be seeing you, Miss Cater. Oh my gosh, he's really, I like him. He's probably a sociopath, though. My passion is really out of money, but sadly I have no money. <laughs> my passion is to be able to afford my rent and eat food and buy some books occasionally and video games. That's my passion. Why, why can't I do that? <laughs> uh, yet another weird custom encounter in a strange, in a string of weird encounters. Comfort me, <laughs> comfort me, Lemon. <laughs> Everybody cry a little bit because we don't have any money. I can't help but wear a goofy grin as I walk away. A hot guy with a big heart? Yeah, still my type. Oh yeah. Still, I shouldn't get ahead of myself here. He's a phone plugs regular. Let's keep an eye on him, preferably too. Wink, wink. 